a very good morning to all so in the last class we learned about measuring length and measuring weight and today we are going to learn about measuring capacity how to measure capacity so you all know what is a capacity it is the maximum amount of liquid that something can hold is capacity so it is the maximum amount of liquid that something can hold is the capacity so you all have a water bottle or you might have seen a bowl or a jug so all these containers can hold maximum amount of liquid so let me give you some examples here you can see two glasses each glass is filled with water from this picture can you see which glass can hold more water is the first one or the second one it is the second one why because the second one is in larger in size so that it can hold more water than the first glass so the second glass has more capacity let's see one more here you can see two containers filled with milk so from this can you say which can hold more milk is this bottle or this glass it is the bottle right the bottle is larger in size so that it can hold more milk than the glass so we can say the bottle has more capacity here you can see a jug and a cup so imagine you filled water in the jug and in the cup can you say which one can hold more water is the jug or the cup it is the jug it can hold more water than the cup so jug has more capacity to hold water so what is capacity it is the maximum amount of liquid that something can hold coming to page number 118 you have an exercise here so here what you have to do is you have to circle the container that has more capacity so see the first one you can see a bottle and a glass so in this which can hold more water so imagine you filled water in this bottle and the glass so which one can hold more water which has more capacity is the bottle or the glass it is the bottle it is larger in size so that it can hold more water so you can circle bottle what about the second one you can see a beaker and you can see a cup which one can hold more water which has more capacity the first one is larger in size than the second one so the first one can hold more water so it has more capacity so let's circle the first one so what about the third one what all things are given here you can see a water bottle and you can see a drum so drum is a container that we used to fill water so which one can hold more water which has more capacity that is the second one so this is larger in size so it has more capacity so let's circle the second one so coming to the next one so which all objects are given you can see a cup and you can see a can water can so which can hold more which has more capacity is the first one or the second one it is the second one it is larger in size so that it has more capacity to hold water so coming to the next one you can see the length of the pencil is about dash paper clips so we learned that we can measure different objects using different things like paper clips match sticks etc so here what you need to do is you need to measure the length of the pencil by using paper clips and you have to write down the answer here so it may be 6 paper clips long or 8 paper clips long or 9 paper clips long so you can do this you can measure the length of the pencil using paper clip and write down the answer here coming to the second one a jug holds you can see three different jugs 
Here you can see three jugs here. A jug holds 10 cups of water. That is 10 cups of water. And Rema drinks 8 cups of water from the jug. So the jug had 10 cups of water. From that 10 cups, Rema drank 8 cups of water. So how many cups of water will be remaining? There will be 2 cups, right? 10 minus 8. So it had 10 cups of water and from that 10 cups, Rema drank 8. So how many cups of water will be remaining? 2. 10 minus 8. That is 2. 2 cups of water will be remaining. So see the question. Take the image that shows the leftover amount of water. From this three pictures, you have to say which jug shows 2 cups of water. Can you find which jug shows 2 cups of water? Is the second jug? No. It is more than 2. Right. What about the third jug? Does it show 2 cups of water? No. It is also more than 2. What about the first one? Does it show 2 cups of water? Yes. It approximately shows 2 cups of water. So you can tick the first one. Done? So coming to the third one. Box A is heavier than box B and box B is heavier than box C. Which one of them is the heaviest box? So imagine there are three box. Box A, box B and box C. Okay. Then imagine box A is heavier than box B. Okay. Then let's come back box B and C. So box B is heavier than box C. So when we compare A and B, which one is heavier? A. And when we compare box B and C, which one is heavier? Box B. So here we need to find out of these three box, which one is heaviest. So which one is heaviest? It is the box A. Box A is heaviest than these three box. So you can write here box A. Coming to the next one, there are two activities for you. So you all know what is a weighing balance and we use a weighing balance to measure the weight of the objects. So we can use a weighing balance to find the weight of different objects. So which all objects are given here? Marble, toys, paper, pencil. So you need a weighing balance and you can measure the weight of these different objects. Then one more activity. This activity what you need to do is you are going to compare the capacity of different containers. So for that you need a cup and four bottles of different size. So you can try these two activities. Okay. Now we are done with this chapter. Let's discuss the revision exercise. So let's see the first one. Look at the picture and fill in the blanks. You can see an eraser as well as a pencil. The pencil is longer than the eraser by dash matchsticks. So you can see the eraser is one matchstick long. And what about the pencil? The pencil is one, two, three, four. It is four matchstick long. So here you need to find how many more matchsticks you need to find in order to measure the length of a pencil. So how many more matchsticks you need? You need three more. So the answer is three. So the pencil is longer than the eraser by three matchsticks. So what about the second one? Look at the pictures and fill in the blanks. You can see three weighing balance here. So let's read the question here. The mango weighs dash marbles. So you can see this weighing balance. On one side you can see the mango and on the other side you can see marbles. So you need to find how many marbles you need in order to make them balance. So how many marbles are there? Just count and see how many marbles are there. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 marbles. So what is the answer here? The answer is 8. Then the lightest object is the so there are three objects given. In the weighing balance, there are three objects. Pencil, manco and book. 
In that, you need to find which one is lighter, which is the lightest object. Lightest means which has less weight. Which has less weight? It is the pencil. So you can write the answer as pencil here. Then see the next one. Look at the pictures and answer the following questions. X, Y, Z. So you can see this is a cup and what about this? This is a bowl and you can see this is a pond. The question is, the one having the maximum capacity, which has more capacity to hold? Which has more capacity? Is it X, Y or Z? So what is the answer? It is Z. It has more capacity. Then, the one having the minimum capacity among X, Y and Z, which has minimum capacity to hold water, which has minimum capacity? It is the cup. Coming to the next one, look at the collections of objects given below. So you can see different objects here. And you need to find how do we measure these objects. Some objects we measure the length. There are some objects where we measure the weight. There are some objects where we measure the capacity. So you need to find how do we measure these objects. So it is given here length, weight and capacity. So you need to find which all objects we measure by length, by weight and by capacity. So let me give you one example. So what about the water bottle? We measure its capacity, right? Then what about a rock? Do we measure the capacity? No, we measure the length of a rock. A rock is measured by its length. And what about a scale? A scale is measured by its length. So you can write in length, you can write scale, rop. Then in capacity, you can write water bottle. And what about watermelon? Do we measure the length of a watermelon? No, but we measure the weight of a watermelon. So in the weight, you can write watermelon. So likewise, you can find out and write down the answer here. So the next one, give one example of each where we use length, weight and capacity in real life. So length, cloth, we measure the length of a cloth. What about weight? Fruits, vegetables, all these things, we measure the weight. What about capacity? How do we measure oil, water? We measure the capacity. So likewise, you can write one example each for the length, weight and capacity. Coming to the next one, rewrite the objects in the correct order. So see the first one, arrange from shortest to longest. Which are the things given? Ladder, matchstick, ruler. So here, which one is shortest? First is the matchstick, then ruler, then ladder. Understood? Then arrange from lightest to heaviest. So you have to arrange the things which are lighter to the things which are heavier. Then, arrange from highest capacity to least capacity, which means things which has less capacity to more capacity. So you can arrange these objects. So you can do this as an activity. Once you are done this, you can take a picture of page number 121 and 122 and do send it to Microsoft Teams. So I hope you all understood about this chapter about measurement. And let's meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, thank you.